What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mode. Welcome to a Warboss Tay hobby hot tips for new painters and intermediate level painters. This is going to be a little video on how I make my wet palette. I know I've showed how to make my wet palette in videos before. If you've already seen it, then you probably don't need to watch this one. But for any new painters or painters out there who's who have just subscribed to my channel and maybe have seen some of my videos and wonder how I get my paint control the way that I do. This is just to show you a simple, super simple tool that you can build um, no matter where or uh, what your hobby is. So for whatever game, if it requires painting and it requires you to do anything like, let's take one of my Elder Harlequins up here. I use the, I use the wet palette to do any of the, the blending of the colors. Keep, keeps my colors kind of uh, mixed well, always in a state of being ready to paint. So let me show you how I do it, especially when you're doing things like this power sword where you need to show transitions and you're, you need to blend your colors. Having a wet palette is a, a, real, a real help. So the first thing you need is a clamshell. Now when we say clamshell, what we mean by that is the back part of any kind of single figure model that comes in a package like this. You just cut the back off. What we normally use is a uh, scissors or you know your regular hobby knife. Just cut it open to open it. Don't cut it across the front because then you'll lose your wet palette. And cut it all around the edges. Then there you go. You've got your clamshell. You also need parchment paper. That's right Bobo, parchment paper. So a roll of parchment paper, you can get it from any cooking store or any store that sells cooking supplies and um, just ask them for parchment paper. You want to make sure that it's parchment and not wax paper. Wax paper is very, very bad because it has that stuff on it that um, can get, when the water touches it and wipes it off, onto, puts it onto your clamshell, then uh, you know, that could get in your paints and ruin it and it's just not going to be good. So parchment paper, ooh, sorry about that bubble. Parchment paper is the best kind of paper to use. Boo, 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 boo. So once you've got a square of parchment, or, or a roll of parchment paper, you're going to use uh, scissors, cut off a little square of it that's going to fit into your clamshell. And there you've got that. Now you just need your uh, glass of water that you're going to use for painting and pour a little bit of it into your clamshell and you just want it to kind of cover the bottom like so okay then you're going to take your squ square of parchment paper that you cut out and you're going to put it in you'll notice that it doesn't have to be exactly to the shape of the clamshell if it's a little bit bigger if it's a little bit smaller that's all right the water normally won't bleed onto it. If the, if the water does, because uh, you put too much water in, then just tip it out, pour some of that water out. You basically want to see the parchment paper getting a little bit transparent on the bottom because the water is soaking into it from the bottom. And there you go. You've got a wet palette. And a wet palette is used for a couple different things. It's used as a poor man's way of being kind of like a paint what they call a paint retarder or something that keeps the paint from drying out. You'll notice that when you put paint onto your wet palette that it will stay, if you put a little bit of water into it and mix it up, then it'll stay usable for a long, long time. Much longer than if you were to put it on a dry palette like this. You put paint from a pot onto a dry palette, even if you mix it with water, it's going to dry out a lot faster. So. Uh, a wet palette is your one of your best friends when you're when you're painting. Isn't that right, Bobo? And here, Bobo, come down next to my next to my wet palette here. And if you don't have parchment paper or you just feel too lazy to use parchment paper, then another option to use is a napkin, like any kind of napkin or paper towel that you get from, say, like McDonald's or any place like that. You just take a napkin or paper towel and put it onto the water. You don't want to use anything like Kleenex because Kleenex is a lot more porous. It'll break up and sometimes it has uh, some of that moisturizer stuff because Kleenex is used for blowing noses and they want to keep your nose nice and soft and whatnot and um, that will usually 
not be good when it gets mixed up in all the water. Plus two, with Kleenex, you'll notice that they break up a lot easier and uh, they're, they're not as good. So, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this hobby hot tip video with me and Bobo chilling here before Bobo has to leave us forever. <laughs> anyway, Bobo, sign off. Say, latest players. Mm-hmm. <laughs>